Hi guys and welcome to your daily tarot reading for Thursday the 16th of May. Thanks for joining me. It's a pleasure to be with you today. I'm using a really fun deck. I'm using the Phantasmagoric Theatre Tarot, which I've recently rediscovered in my tarot collection. So let's have a look at what these cards want you to be aware of today and what energy you'll be working with. So we've got the King of Wands in reverse, the Eight Strength, the Eight card of the Major Arcana Strength in reverse, and then the Star, 17. Okay, so the King of Wands is a court card, that's in reverse. Strength and the Star, they're both Major Arcana cards, and they are fundamental themes in life. Okay, so let's have a look at what these mean, and I'll turn them around again in a moment. The King of Wands is someone who is in charge of his destiny. He's got to the pinnacle of success. He is completely free. He does what he enjoys and loves. He is living his life purpose. He's doing work that fulfills him, that makes him happy, and he's just thrilled to get up every morning and to be able to do what he does. So it's kind of living the perfect dream life that we all want to live, having freedom and choice and doing something because we care about it, not because we have to, or it's a responsibility or we have to make money or whatever it is. It's doing something that's play. That's a dream come true. So that's in reverse. So you're not quite there yet. But with the King of Wands in reverse, you're getting there. So it's kind of something that you're working towards. And with the Eight of Eighth card of the Major Arcana in reverse, we've got the South Node of the Moon in astrology here. Very interesting. Strength is about about. I'm trying to think of a way to say it. Usually it's a woman who is kind of taming a beast, a lion. So the strength card is about managing the emotions and your inner beasts and your inner inner monsters that sabotage you. So your ego is saying you're not good enough, you can't. And strength is also managing the external beasts, you know, the tyrants in your life and standing up to the bullies and all of the difficult things. But today, and I, it's interesting that I'm using this deck and I believe in the law of attraction. I pick the deck that I'm meant to pick for the day. And I've never seen a strength card that has the south node of the moon in it. And the south node of the moon is about letting things go. It's about cleansing. And it's not about building yourself up and trying to manage the beasts and managing the things that are worrying you. It's simply about letting them go. And then we've got like a, a palette there with a paintbrush, books and a brain on top of it. And someone who's in love and the sun and weird little trees and everything. So this is someone who's in the middle of life, who's exposing himself, who's creative, who's doing everything that he possibly can, who's striving to be something, who's striving to be the best that he can, and he's using all his power and his strength to create a sense of identity for himself. And what we're seeing today is that you don't need to create a sense of identity for yourself. You can let go of all of the difficulties and you can just rest in being the star that you already are, you don't need to work at it. He's trying to define himself by, okay, I'm going to be a painter, or I'm going to be really smart because I'm reading all these books, or I'm going to be a, a Casanova, and I'm going to be very good at being in a relationship, and that then will be my identity, and that's how I'm going to feel empowered. And that's going to lead me to living my best most wonderful life 
And then every day I'm going to be happy and I'm going to wake up and I'm going to feel empowered and wonderful. And the cards are saying, all of that is very nice, but you don't need to bother with it today because you already are a star shining brightly in the sky. And you've got everything that you need right now. And what you can do, we've got the sign of Aquarius there and all this water and a certificate. What you can do is you can let other people in on the secret. The secret being that they don't need to identify themselves or label themselves as an artist to be valuable or to read a bunch of books to be valuable in other people's eyes or to um, have a relationship to feel like they belong and they have a sense of power and purpose here on this planet. You can show other people that they're stars and that they're special just because they exist. And just because they've chosen to come to this planet. And all of these things are just facades. And when you get to the truth of things, you show your true self. And all of us are stars. All of us are special, unique creations. And the more you let go of these masks in a way, the more empowered you'll be the more liberated you will you'll be you'll be able to rise up into the sky and shine your light brightly simply being yourself you don't need to hide behind all of these things to try and build some sort of identity and also you don't need to work towards finding something to do that makes you a star in the physical world. You don't need to be, you know, the head of the the company to mean something, or you don't need to um, be the the circus conductor or the conductor of the orchestra to be special and to be a star and to be recognized by other people. Fame isn't going to make you happy. What's going to make you happy is doing what you really, really enjoy and what comes naturally to you. So rather than being a star in a, in a superficial, earthy, worldly way by putting on a mask that puts you in the limelight, that puts you in the spotlight and says, here I am, look at me. Like for instance, um, Meghan Markle. She was famous because she was an actress and that was the label and the stamp that was put on her. She's special and she's in the spotlight and celebrated by society because she can act and she's on film. Then she gets married to a prince and now she's a princess. So she's got another label. So boom, we stamp her in society and she's in the limelight, in the spotlight not as an actress anymore, but as a princess. And some people would say, oh, that is much more valuable than being an actress. Being a princess is just makes her star shine even more brightly. And what I'm saying here is that she's a star, whether she's a princess or an actress or just someone who doesn't have a job. She's a star regardless of what labels society puts on her or what masks she chooses to wear. She's a star because she's a human being, a person here on planet Earth who has chosen this difficult planet to visit for a while, to progress spiritually, to learn and to do the best you can and the rest is rubbish. So today is a day of really being authentic with yourself and getting down to the nitty gritty and realizing that you have a certificate which makes you a star and special because you were born. <laughs> and you don't need to work at anything and use your strength or try at anything to really 
be something special. It's it's like, you know, when they say, when all the gurus, they say, oh, you don't need to work to become enlightened. You're already enlightened. And it's like, oh, great. Thanks, guru. That really helped me. I feel so much more enlightened now. But it's the truth. You don't need to strive towards any, to anything. You just... You're just adding more layers of stuff that obscure your true natural light, which is already shining. Other people will see it. Other people will know you for who you are, whether you're an accountant or whether you're a painter or a princess. And the clever ones will see beyond those labels and will see the beautiful, wonderful person underneath all those labels. And if you're a clever person, you'll be able to see past the labels that apply to you, yourself. And you'll be able to let go of them and you'll be able to see yourself as you truly are. With all your flaws and all your sparkly bits and all your wonderful, unique qualities which make you something heavenly. And the best thing that you can do is to encourage other people to drop the act, to drop the facade, to connect on a human level, to say, this is me, that's you, let's talk, let's go have lunch, let's go enjoy ourselves, and let's not bother with all this rubbish and boast and say, my house is the biggest on the hill and it has a view of the valley and look at this diamond that my husband or my fiance gave me it's 12 carats and aren't i special it does no one cares what people care about is whether you're present and whether you like them for them and whether you're authentic and whether you can be a true friend or a true lover or a true partner in life because you're emotionally truly there and present so one you can make friends with yourself today and really get to know who you are by dropping all of the bs that you've piled onto yourself to try and make yourself enough if you feel insecure and second of all you can encourage other people to drop it and you can connect on an authentic level and you can speak to people today in a way that you haven't been able to before because it's a day of real honesty and integrity and people really uh, getting in touch with their true selves. And that is a service to humanity and it's a service to yourself. Because please do realize that you're special simply because you're here. You're special because you're breathing. And that's the end of it. <laughs> and that's that. 17. And the king is 18. And 8 is 26. 2 and 6 is 8. And 8 is power. Strength. So your strength comes from being vulnerable. Your strength comes from letting go. Not hanging on. Your strength comes from stripping everything away and just leaving the bear you there instead of putting up a fortress you don't need a fortress and walls to protect yourself your strength is you in your birthday suit as you are that's your strength and knowing yourself with and being able to see yourself with all your flaws and all your amazing assets that's real strength so embrace that today. It may be a little bit confusing, but by letting go, you truly become strong. By letting go of the facades, the, the stuff that's not real, and by embracing the stuff that is real, that is real strength. That's true strength. So if you want a personal reading with me, if you've got questions about how you can be more authentic, what you're destined to do here on planet earth, what your life purpose is, what your talents are when it comes to work, what your easiest way forward is to let your light shine without plastering yourself with things that really have nothing to do with you. 
and to find the most straightforward line to living your maximum potential. And please get in touch with me for a personal reading. It's gregoryscott.com. Click on the readings tab to order your reading or the book your reading button on the front page. Have a wonderful day and I'll speak to you tomorrow.